top 25 team? Uh, uh, I mean, I haven't really thought about that. You know, we've just been really concentrating on our next opponent. But I'm happy that the fact that our guys have uh, been rewarded for the efforts. You know, to be recognized is always a good thing. What has a senior class meant to you between BJ and Taco and Chad and Dale? Uh, you know, it meant a lot to me. It'll be emotional tomorrow, I think, for everyone because that'll be the last time they actually play, you know, on our court. You know, so uh, I'm, ex I'm excited for them. Um, I'm proud of them and what they've accomplished. They all talked about leaving a legacy, and that's what they're doing. And uh, just, it'll be emotional, I think, for everyone. Taco's mom is here, and he hasn't seen her in such a long time. How emotional do you think that is? And, and uh, what does it say that a, that a young man can come to a new country and thrive like he's, he's done? You know, I mean, it's 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 amazing to to see what he's accomplished here, uh, to have his mom be able to see him play in his last you know, home game here at, at in CFE Arena is special, and I'm just really excited for him. And like you said, everything that he's accomplished, uh, coming here, you know, living the American dream. You come over here, you can make you know you can make some amazing things happen, and that's what he's done. And I'm just very proud of him and his family. How do you think the emotions will work? I mean, because you got to keep them in check, but can they also add extra motivation? Can they work for or work against, you know, in such an important game like tomorrow? No, it's, it's important that we have our guys understand that we have to stay balanced in what we're doing. Uh, we can't get too high and we can't get too low. Uh, tomorrow's going to be, you know, an amazing atmosphere in here. Uh, of course, it's their last game, but it's not going to be just about our seniors. It's going to be about our team. And uh, if we can keep that in mind, that that's going to be a team game and, and don't get caught up too much about just one side of it, I think that's the best way to approach it. Well, this time of year, it's hard to keep their focus on the individual game when you have to hear them looking ahead. Uh, no, I, no, I don't fear our team really looking ahead. I, I think they understand that we're playing against a team that's, that's competing for a conference championship. You know, we like to be in a position to compete for a conference championship as well. So with that alone, I think, you know, it, it should make for a great environment. It should make for, you know, a really uh, focused game, you know, from our team. You guys are really playing your best basketball here late in the season. What's kind of been the, the, the key to this success over the last couple of weeks? I think our guys have really just been, like I said, focused. You know, we've realized that, uh, you know, we had a tough schedule coming down the stretch, but we used that as an opportunity. And I think we just, we talked about that. This is a great opportunity to play the type of games we have coming down the home stretch. And our guys have approached each one of them the right way. They've come out, they've, they've been focused. They knew that we had to win together. They've, they've really played well, you know, off each other. And uh, we defended, as I always tell you. They'll start on that end of the floor. And I think we've defended as well as we have all season down the stretch. You had a tough loss at Cincinnati a couple weeks ago, but you guys felt like you should have won that game. What kind of things did you take away from that game? Well, I never say I feel like we should have won the game. That's, that's not how I speak. I, I think for, from my perspective, uh, you know, we got beat. You know, the, the score always, you know, determines that. And we have to be better than we were that night. I think the things that we have to do a lot better is, one, we have to make sure that, that we take care of the basketball against this team. And two, we have to make sure that we understand who their key players are. And I think we, we blew a couple of assignments late in that game that really cost us down the stretch. We need to understand the game play and no, and no personnel. What are some of your uh, memories that kind of come to mind when you think about a guy like B.J. Taylor and kind of what he's meant to this program over your three years here? Uh, you know, I mean, B.J.'s meant so much to the program. I've had him for three years, and I've loved coaching him every day. Uh, the thing for me, you know, when I think about him is I think about how he committed here. Because when I took the job, I asked him about his commitment to UCF. He said, Coach, I came to UCF because I wanted to leave my legacy here. I wanted to make a difference in my community. He said, I could have gone a lot of places, could have gone out of state and different places to play. He said, but I wanted to leave a legacy here in Orlando. This is my home, and I wanted to do something special here. And I love that. You know, when a young man says that, you know, that just it still brings goosebumps, put goosebumps on my arms now. Uh, the fact that uh, he thought that much about his overall community and what he could help do for that. And so, he's really proud of what he's accomplished. What about Taco Falls or the same question? You know, more specifically on him, what stands out when you think about working with him? <laughs> The same thing, really. I mean, Taco made a commitment to, to come to UCF because he wanted to leave his legacy. And it's ironic, they both are in the same year and they both are here and they're doing that. You know, they're in the process of leaving their legacy. So I think of him the same way I think of BJ, someone that made a commitment to want to see his community be special. And that's what they're doing. Chad is a guy, that, Chad Brown's a guy that seems like he's improved every year. He's a big energy guy, big spark plug. You know, what do you like about Chad and his, and his game? 
Well, the thing I love about Chad is he's the same way every day. I mean, I've never seen Chad have a bad day. He comes in this gym to practice or come to a game. He's the most energized guy. He has the most enthusiasm, and it's contagious. You know, he's he's really our glue guy. I mean, talking about the pieces that that make us go, he's he's the glue guy. He he the one that ties everything together for us, and he's been terrific. You know, and so just just his infectious smile, his his, his energy. You know, I'm I'm gonna miss that when that I'm, I'm a savor it as long as I can because. You know, it's a unique talent that he has that uh, that pulls people together. And Deion's fulfilled an important role since he transferred in uh, two years ago. What are some of your thoughts on Deion's legacy here? You know, I'm, I, you know, I'm so excited for Deion. You know, Deion came in as a transfer, so he's only played with us several years of, of eligibility. But he's been terrific. I mean, he, he's been one of our best perimeter defenders since he's been here. Uh, he's a team guy. You know, he wants to win. And uh, he's, he's been able to sacrifice, you know, in both his cases and Chad. They've shown what sacrifices can do for a team. And he could have came here and, and, and been in the starting lineup. He you know, started some last year. That, that hadn't been his role this year. But you know he's embraced what he has to do to help his team win. And so I'll think of a player that's been selfless this season. Both he and Chad have been selfless players. And that's what, that's what has put us in this position that we're in right now. Coach, what about Taco's story? He leaves seven years ago as home gets pulled in a bunch of different directions when he gets over here and he, he's enduring his lineup. Can you just talk about that a little bit? Uh, you know, Taco's been, you know, he's had an amazing journey. And uh, to leave home, to, to, to nestle your mom for seven years, I mean, I, I mean, I can't imagine that, to be quite frank. You know, the sacrifices that, he, that he's had to make. and uh, But he's done that to try, to try to create a better future for he and his family. And he's doing that. You know, he's, he's worked really hard in the classroom. He's, he's a terrific student. He's also, you know, like I said, worked really hard in the court. He's a terrific player. And that's a pretty good combination going forward in the future. So I'm, I'm really excited about who he's becoming as a young man, and I'm really proud of him. Has, has he remained an engineering major throughout his entire – is he still an engineering major? Uh, no, to my knowledge, that's still an engineering major. I, I believe it's something in computers now. Okay. I mean, computer science, or somewhere along that, along those lines. Don't quote me on that. But, but yeah, he, he had to. He changed his major, I think, because of the, 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 the moving parts and practices and, and travel and all the things that have to do with the sport. But, but he's doing great in, in the classroom. He's, you know, he's always a terrific student athlete. You saw the atmosphere that Houston had on Saturday and what Cincinnati had a couple weeks ago. What kind of atmosphere do you want to see in here tomorrow? I want to see an atmosphere better than any of those those, those uh, environments that we were in on the road, and and we can have that. We've had that here before, and we can have it again tomorrow. You know, we need to come out. You know, our community, our student body, you know, our faculty, you know, everyone needs to come out and it's really, you know, kind of cheer these guys on. This is the last time this group will be together on this floor, and I think we need to send them off the right way. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, thanks guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it, guys. Thank, thank you. you. All right.